All right, so we're running out. So you see that over there? Looking for bait, that, looking that for fish. Yeah, and uh, one of the most important yeah. things to do it's is not the just the find your fish, but figure out what they're relating to so you know how to target them. Right. They're going to be there for a reason where we find them. They're either looking for bait, they're hanging in the current, tide, hanging on structure, they're hanging on a temperature break, current break, they're hanging on bait. They're there for a reason, not just... So finding them is just the first part. So if they're sitting on the bottom, on a piece of structure and current, it makes no sense to fish top water if they're 30 feet on the bottom, right? That's what you gotta think about. So they're on the bottom, now if they're spread out on the bottom, you can drift through that area, work jigs on the bottom. If they're tight on the bottom, sitting on a piece of structure, drifting through, you're only gonna be on the fish for a few seconds. You drift off, right? So you'll anchor and cut bait on those fish. So once you find them, figure out why they're there, what they're relating to, and that's how you decide what to use. So if you're marking fish constantly and they're not biting, think about your presentation. How are you presenting a bait? Does it make sense? Are they suspended and you're dropping baits to the bottom? Are you fishing top water and they're not up by the, by the surface or feeding? Presentation is everything. That's why these spoons work so well, because they'll cover the entire water column from the bottom, nearly almost up to the top. The vertical presentation, you almost can do no wrong with it, as long as there's bait nearby. If you're fishing those flutter spoons and there's no bait nearby, it can be tough. The stripers, if they're relating to the bait, you use that spoon, you're gonna catch fish. Presentation is everything. They're relating to the structure on the bottom. In this case, it's a hump. They're relating to that hump and they're using that hump to feed. Current comes through. Bigger fish have to work hard in current. The bigger they are, the more the current, the harder they have to work and they don't want to do that. They'll get behind these humps and little, little depressions in the bottom. Anything to get a break out of that current and wait for bait fish to come by. You know, amb ambush. And you can see we're coming up on the hump and you can see how those arches are right there on that hump as we come up. See that there? So we know that this group of fish here is relating to the hump. So if I didn't see fish spread out, so if I came out here and I only saw the fish sitting on that hump right there, and those are the only fish I marked, and it was thick and they were all together, I would cut bait fish there. I would anchor up right on top of that hump and I just drop cut bait right on their heads. So we're coming down the hump and you can see we're still seeing some around the bottom. You can see those marks right there. Stripers are a little bit on the bottom. So right when the hump flattens out, there's where the, that's where the thick concentration is. So that's what they're related to right there. They're relating to that little bottom of the hump, right where it goes from the ledge dropping off to the flat bottom, right in there. They're relating to that. So, and they're there because they want to feed. They're staying out of the current, just looking for bait to come by. So we're gonna drift by with the current. We're gonna throw the baits, our casting up current and pull them down with the current. So it, we could probably catch some fish if we threw down current and pulled up, but that's not the direction they're facing. They're facing, so they're waiting for those fish to come by. You know, so you want to cast up current, work our baits down current, so it, it passes in front of them when they're ready in their ambush position. I didn't even know this rock pile was here. But look how high it comes off the bottom. Look at those fish sitting right behind it. So many fish. All right, guys, you see how these fish position themselves on that hump right there that comes down? They're hanging right behind it. Presentation is everything. Alright, if you're new to striped fishing, or any fishing really, uh, you need to find out a few things before you can start catching the fish, right? If they're relating to a piece of structure and they're just sitting on that structure, good time to cut bait fish. Anchor up over that structure. Get some cut bait on the bottom. Or you can use worms, blood worms, uh, clams, cut bunker, pretty much anything really on cut bait, fresh and salt. So that's really key. Find out what those fish are relating to before you can put your game plan together. Once you figure it out, 
and every one of the boat can make that switch. You can really have a killer day. You'll see here these suspended fish. We're about to drift over all the bait spools. And he's fishing that spoon right between the bottom of the bait and hitting the bottom. So here's, here's the fish we're talking about. You can see they're suspended and they're feeding on bait that's higher in the water column. So that spoon is a great way to target these fish because uh, not only are they looking up at the bait that they're going to see these spoons raining down, but there are bluefish in here tearing up the bunker. And when they tear up the bunker, they're like piranhas if you never caught them before. And they'll just chunk up the, tear them to pieces. The bunker bait fish pieces rain down. The stripers are looking up, catching those pieces that are raining down, and they're going to eat your spoon that's raining down as well. So here it goes. These are just suspending fish. They're relating to that bait that's on the surface. We know what they're relating to. They're suspended. They're very interested. So we really need to work our baits where they're suspended and up. And where we're seeing them close to the bottom underneath of his bait fish there, he's raining a, a spoon down. So Mike and Justin, we're doing this as a team and we got to work together to figure it out so quick, so much quicker doing this. So I have two guys on spoons. They're working the middle of the water column down to the bottom. Eric and I are fishing from the middle of the water column to near the surface or just below the surface. Now, once someone hooks up, start making those adjustments. And then usually by the end of the day, we're all on the same bait, you know, once you get it dialed in. The more people you put on your boat, the quicker you're gonna figure out how to catch them. Five spoons down in the water is extremely attractive. You go out there by yourself with one spoon, it's just not the same having five, six spoons down there. Fish all come, they follow the spoons. And it can really help. Presentation is everything. Presentation is everything.